I agree. I'm super serious. You got to keep a man interested. Not only interested, straight. but you got to I, 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 I keep out it recently. consistent. It's, it's a lot with appreciation, too. A lot of women don't appreciate stuff. They get they get used to the treatment, and they don't they don't be thankful enough. And so men go outside of their relationship to seek that somewhere else. You know, and that's what dies then. You got to constantly, it's, it's, it's really hard for women to, to phantom that, but you really have to soothe your man's ego and his dick. That's <laughs> just how it is. It goes hand in hand. Head, ego. Ego, head. <laughs> Take care of those two things. I don't think you really going to have to worry about it from there. You know? And then especially if you got a man that's in the limelight and he's a celebrity, cut the bullshit all the time. Oh, I think you cheating. He cheating. His ass being thrown at him every five minutes. It ain't but so much ass he could turn away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, are you serious? Come on. You know, just play your position. Stop complaining and suck the nigga dick. Sorry, I have to get explicit with it sometimes because sometimes I can't sugarcoat it. It's just too much complaining and not enough dick sucking going around. You want to really want to ask for the plane, for the plane going on? You got your answer. <laughs> just like little Kim said, you can't be. She used to be scared of it. Now she handles it like a That's real right. Bitch. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta be that freak for your man in the bedroom. You gotta go, go to these, to these places and, and, and get your stilettos and get your little outfits on. You know, switch up the hairstyles every now and then. You know, these are little things you have to do to show appreciation. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? These women that get these men, these celebrities, they got some money, they fall off. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Especially you dealing with it with a lot of money. There's no reason why you shouldn't have your swagger. No reason why. Broke girls in the projects could do it. Why you can't do it? You know what I'm saying? It just don't make no sense. You know? And then and then furthermore, you gotta you gotta have confidence about yourself as well. I see. A lot of women, they not having confidence about themselves, you know. Low self-esteem, trash. Yeah, that don't work. They, they smell that off of you. When I walk in the room, I take over the room. The vibe you, and you just graduated this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I was actually my first <laughs> college. Um, yep, I, I got my associates, which people might be like, oh, this is your associates. People always want to talk down stuff, but at the end of the day, if you go to the projects where I'm from, Nobody has graduated from college, any of my friends. Now, they have even graduated from high school. Um, and so it's a great accomplishment to me. So it's just another, it, actually I went I went into, um, and to get my degree in human services back in 2005, way before I did a doctor stuff that net interview, I was in school, um, already planning to be a social worker to help women all across the world, as I was helped. My whole point was, I asked my advocate, the lady that was, um, my social worker said, I was like, what what um what degree are you, did you get? She was like, human services. I was like, that's what I want to do because I wanted to help other people in my situation, you know. So hopefully, you know, with this book as well, I will be able to do that. If I, if I ever got a hold of, of, of enough, and even just a little bit, I, I will always like to go back to the shelter where I came from or even be able to find and open up another shelter because even if it's just one, it's something. You know, you gotta you gotta reach out and help other people. It's very selfish for people to get blessings and don't give back blessings to other people. People need help all around the world. But um, yeah, pretty much. Um, I know Teresa it's deep, right? Yeah, <laughs> well, people call me Miss America, a whole bunch of stuff. But it's like you could be joyful about it, but I'm super serious, <laughs> you know, and, and like just the pattern on how everything happened and went along speaks for itself. Anybody could just say anything, but the proof is right there in front of your face, so you can't deny it. And besides that, here you have a lot of people you touch. Yes, I do. And do you have a fan base where people can reach you? Actually, I do. It's uh, myspace.com slash China underscore star with a double R underscore fan page. <laughs> yes, I do. And if you go to myspace.com slash Brooklyn China, my fan page is on my top list. And um, I have a lot of fans that always hit me up. And um, it's cool. And also you have a book out right now. 
Yes, celebrities are goofy too. If you didn't know, now you know. Go out there and cop that. If you if you like celebrity gossip, if you like keep seeking books, if you have a friend that may need an eye opener that needs some help, then you should go out there and get that book and maybe it could be a little Christmas gift for her, whatever. And, and the great thing about it is that it's so nonchalant because when you give it to that person, they're not even going to be thinking, you know, it's not like a, oh, I, need, I need some help book. You know what I'm saying? Like, get out of an abusive relationship book. You know, it's a book where they could be entertained and at the same time um, have awareness about that situation. So it's a great thing. Now let's look to the future. You left the popping off alone. Now you got a college degree, a yes. daughter. Yes. What's in the future? Um, a future for me, um, right now I'm working on a documentary with uh, DJ Vlad, who is producing a documentary called Kiss and Tail um, for Russell Simmons H2O for HBO. So that is great. Um, I love TV and cameras. I've been like that since I was a child. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, I'm not too over the top, just what it is. And Glam Star is um, a clothing line that I want to start and also a shoe store. I've always wanted a shoe store growing up because I love shoes and they're fabulous. And I like to be fabulous and pretty. And that's just who I am. Um, and hopefully, and, and this is like my main goal, which was like really made sense of it all. I would like to um, have a nonprofit organization for women of domestic violence. So if I could get that done, that would be a great accomplishment because I could feel good and then it all makes sense why everything went on um, in my life. I guess I, somebody has to be the sacrifice for it all. And I, I would gladly take that spot. And if I had to do it again, I'd do it again. If, if um, Well, it actually already is making a difference. You know, but um, so I pretty much accomplished that, which I, which, which is why I could, um, sh you know, show my face and and be happy about stuff. Um, but if that could happen too, that'll work. I just see you so different now, beyond what you did with your third, you mm -hmm. giving back to the human race. Right. It's like I pretty much grew, grew up because, like, um, as time goes on, you have to like learn from your mistakes. You can't keep like I don't feel like I did mistakes like dating dating celebrities because they're regular people just like me and you, you know, but um, I feel like, I feel like, um, you know, I would be, I would be more paying attention to whether they married or not, I don't want to hurt no families, you know, that's not nice, um, I want to be a great model for my daughter, which is the reason why I went to college in the first place, is because I wanted to make sure I could be financially set to take care of her. Um, and, I, and also, you know, she sees her mom, she'll always know that no matter how many times I fell, I kept getting up. A lot of people, they judge, they judge my book by its cover, and they never actually got a chance to look inside of it. They automatically didn't even get a chance to read it, and they were already like, oh, that's just another superhead book, or it's just another groupie book, or it's just another um, Confessions of Video Vixen, or Confessions of a Groupie, or I'm with the band book. It's really, really not. You know, you everybody's story is not gonna be the same. Everybody don't go about things the same way as everybody else. So it's very important before you judge and make an ass out of yourself and assume to read the book, get to know me, and and, and that's why a lot of my fans that actually read the book, they get upset when people say things that are out of order versus the people that never even read the book and already just want to be coming out the mouth. You know, it really makes it asses out of people and that's a, that's a shame, you know. And that's just that's just how it is. And, and life really, a lot of people just look at stuff from the outside and they be like, oh, I'm I, th how it looks from the outside looking in, that's the thing, you're just looking in. You know what I'm saying? Before you go out and run your mouth and be smart, actually get to know the person, you know. And that's how I feel like with my book before, you go ahead and compare me to somebody else. Don't just judge a book by its cover. Actually, go get the book, read it, you know, and then come back to me with your with your um, criticism, comments, and etc. And this moment is tasting real good. If I might say so myself. <laughs> Ditto. Real. I think this is the most exclusive interview I've ever did because, like, I like I do interviews, and sometimes it's just so hard up when I'm in. My house, I'm more relaxed. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I could just talk regular. You know what I'm saying? And a lot more comes out like that. That's why I prefer to do things in a, in a quiet setting. 